I've used Movavi video editing software to make some pretty cool effects, like the Iron Man heads up display. Well, Movavi just updated their software and it's got all kinds of new features. It's got new personalized recommendations, it's got a mobile companion, it's got new LUTs that you can use. But today I want to talk to you about 10 reasons that I think you should give Movavi a try today. Let's get into it. The very first feature I want to show you is audio syncing. A lot of times I will film myself with my camera using the camera mic, but then use a much better microphone and processing to capture a better audio sound. Then I'm left trying to sync those two clips together in my project. Well, in Movavi, if I bring both of those clips down into my timeline, the video and the audio clip, in the upper left under the More Tools option and under the Audio Editing drop-down menu, you'll see Synchronization. All I have to do is select both clips by hitting one, holding the control key on my keyboard, and then selecting the next, and the synchronization option activates. One click to the synchronize button, and the audio from both is immediately synchronized. This video was sponsored by the good people at Movavi. The next feature I want to talk about that Movavi has that your video editor may not is scene detection. If you have a piece of footage that has many different changes in that clip, Bring it down into your timeline and in the upper left under the More Tools option, click the Video Editing dropdown and with your clip selected, choose Scene Detection. By clicking the Detect Scenes option, it'll split that footage up into the different scenes it detects within the entire footage. You can even use the slider to select the minimum duration of any given scene so that it can split your footage more accurately. This is really helpful if you're just trying to break up the different scenes from within a larger piece of footage quickly. The third feature I think that makes Movavi worth your consideration is beat detection. Movavi has had this feature for a while and it allows you to bring any music track down into your timeline, right click on that audio file or video track with audio attached, and choose detect audio beats. In the upper left, you'll see the beat detection feature open up and you can choose detect audio beats so that Movavi can put beat markers right into your audio track, allowing you to see right where the tempo exists. But what's really cool about Movavi's beat detection feature is it also has a minimum time between beat marker slider function that you can move to the left or to the right to increase or decrease the amount of beat markers that Movavi is detecting. You don't have to scan your audio track again, Movavi adjusts it in real time and allows you to show the amount of markers you need to set your beat detection and even your video synchronization properly. Speaking of audio, Movavi also has a pretty decent noise removal tool. And in the upper left under the audio editing dropdown, you'll see that you can use the variable slider to dial in the exact amount of noise suppression you might need. Once you've got it dialed into where you want it, hit apply. And now Movavi has helped remove that background noise. Can you hear that fan noise? Does this sound better? The fifth reason you may want to consider using Movavi for your next project is the built-in audio effects. The echo effect. echo effect. The muffled effect. The telephone effect. The high pitch effect. The low pitch effect. The very high pitch effect. The very low pitch effect. The radio effect. And the robot effect. All of these audio effects are available to you in Movavi at a click of a button. The next thing that I think makes Movavi really cool is its slow motion feature. You can quickly dial back footage in your timeline to get a smooth slow-mo playback that even works while dialing back 60 frames per second to a quarter speed. That's pretty sweet. The seventh reason I think you should give Movavi a try is this feature, the highlight and conceal option. It's very cool. By selecting this feature in the upper left, you can choose an area within your footage that you want to highlight or pop more than the rest. Just choose that area by selecting it in the upper right preview window and dialing it into where you want. Then you can control the opacity of that layer. You can control the feathering of it. You can even choose the shape you want to use, as well as adding an outline to that shape. 
you can switch between the color or blur option so that the background either becomes more diluted or more blurred depending on which option you prefer. This is really great for making one element in your footage really stand out. Speaking of standing out, the eighth feature I think really helps Movavi stand out is the ability to add a timer right into your project. Tucked up in the titles options is the ability for you to grab a timer and bring it down into your timeline. It starts at zero and the longer you stretch it out, the longer it will run over the course of your entire video if you'd like. This is just about the easiest way to add a timer to video that I've seen. Really smart thinking, Movavi. The ninth and 10th reasons that I think you should give Movavi a try, both can be found in the video export window. Not only can you export in H.264, but you can work and export in the high efficiency codec of H.265 as well. But when it comes to frames per second, Movavi does not limit you to 60 frames per second, but lets you export all the way up to 120 frames per second. Try that in another affordable video editing software. I'll put a link down below where you can try Movavi Video Editing Suite completely free for seven days. And if you like it and want to buy it, I'll even put a 20% off discount code down below. If you want to learn more tips, tricks, and techniques using Movavi Video Editing Software, click on the video that's on screen now or the one I'll pin down below. Peace.